Hi, it's Gracie and Ryan. Hello. Hello. And we have this beautiful seven foot obelisk that um, has a very gangly mess of David Austin Bathsheba. We are gonna prune it today and show you how to train a climbing rose on an obelisk. Bathsheba is what I would call like more of a shorter climber than some of the really, really big climbers out there. So it's actually perfect for an obelisk. The way I planted these this here is that I have two Bathsheba roses flanking my obelisk. Um, I did this because I wanted the um, obelisk to be full really fast. We planted these last summer in June, so they are already very, very big. Nice job. Thank you. And so we are going to prune these today. Actually, Ryan's going to prune them today, show us how to train them. I guess we'll get started, right? We are going to get started. We have a lot of canes coming this way, going that way. A lot of mess on the bottom. Morning glory. We have beautiful morning glory. This stuff is all over our farm. It is horrible. Actually, and, uh, I don't think it came from this farm. We had it on our last farm up north, and I think we brought it down with us. I think it just like migrated with us. It's quite invasive. It's very invasive, and, and it climbs uh, and it gets in our plants. Yeah. So we're gonna work on this. I'm gonna remove all the foliage first, and trim off the tips of the the long canes. I'll be able to weave them in and out. Pretty simple. You don't have to be afraid. You don't have to say, well, it has to be cut at a certain point. Doesn't matter. It's going to be cut. All right. Here we go. <laughs> this rose two rose bushes completely and they look wonderful thank you <laughs> so the objective of this and I cut my finger on a thorn and you weren't even doing the work all right so the objective is going to be to bring Here. these Let me help. <laughs> we're going to tuck them in yeah we're going to tuck them in and this is only going to be like the first whole season of this beautiful garden uh masterpiece here we're not going to be like super picky about where the canes are this year because they're going to grow a lot we're just going to make sure they're all kind of going the direction of the obelisk now that's not to say we don't want these to to stay here we do still want some shrub here to like be the base of the plant and then the plant grows in so ryan's are going to just gently prune um these canes down here that are going to make like the base and then they'll grow inward. So go ahead and just prune your base canes. Let's just take this guy and weave it inward and then these just give him a haircut. Okay. I'd put this one like underneath that rail. You, you would? I would. <laughs> Remember, it is Grace Rose Farm, not Ryan Rose Farm. Yeah, but I think at one point you said it should be Ryan Rose. It's probably true. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna give her a haircut. 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 I'm, I'm you gonna hold your horses. <laughs> a little shorter. Right there. Okay. So we will come back to this beautiful plant in about a month and we'll show you how it's leafing out. And then we'll show you the first bloom in spring, which is always the most fabulous. Yep. We all know that, whether we grow roses or not. I would like to see these girls here behind that behind that arch. I agree. So that they're moving upward and not outward. But I think this looks really good considering this is going to be the first year of this plant really taking structure on the obelisk. Last year we planted them in June and we just let them grow wild. As you can see, some of the canes did make their way into the center of the obelisk. This year we just want to let it fill out and then we will obviously need to give it a summer prune, um, which isn't pruning back down to the ground or anything like that, but it is just like more shaping of the plant because we are in zone 10 and our roses get wildly huge here in our hot climate. So um, this looks beautiful for the first year. When we do this video again next year, you'll see that we're gonna do a lot more structuring. So we're gonna wrap the canes more and we're gonna have 
a more equal balance of canes. This is perfect for for right now. Yeah. Right. And as always, clean up the foliage on the ground. Clean up you all your trimmings. You don't want to leave it there for next season. Or you don't want to do that. No. So this is Bathsheba, David Austin Climbing Rose. Uh, two plants, flanking an obelisk. It's going to look beautiful. Beautiful yeah. peach rose. I can't wait. All right. Bye. Bye.